that don't know me, my name is Kara Burke. I am a photographer and videographer based out of Fort Worth, Texas. I am fairly new to homeschooling. I've been homeschooling for almost a year now. I homeschool my four-year-old daughter. We're secular homeschoolers. So I'm making a video. One, because I promised to release a video a long time ago and I haven't done it. Um, I think I told y'all in my last video that I was doing a flip through of Wild Math and um, I was going through all of the core books for Idlewild's curriculum. I'm still going to release the flip through of Wild Math, but this is me re-recording my core curriculum books for Idlewild because there's a lot that's changed. So the woman who made Idlewild um, reached out to me after my video and we've been like talking back and forth. She's like the sweetest person in the world and she has made some updates to her curriculum that I decided since she did it and I know about it, I go ahead and make a video about it and add it to that core curriculum book list. Um, that way it's all in one place. First thing I want to say is Idlewild is a secular curriculum, 100% secular curriculum. I missed it on her Instagram page, but she did say she's going to make it more clear on her website. I did update it in my description of my old one, but I just want to make it clear here. Idlewild is 100% secular. So let's get straight into what has changed with Idlewild's curriculum. So if you watched my last video, you'll know that I was really excited about the discussion points that she puts in after the readings that are in the units. I just think it's great. It's hard for me as a new homeschool mom to know what areas I'm supposed to be like really pushing home and like I'm still learning how to educate my daughter. And so the fact that she goes as far as to tell you, these are the questions you should be asking. These are the, the, the points you need to make sure hit home in this unit. And now she's added even more of those. So she added more discussion points. I'm looking at my notes over here, just so you know. She added more discussion points. She added more books to the units. And she's taken away some books that she didn't feel were quite up to par anymore, especially with the new books that she found that she loved. So she's added more books. She's broadened some of the units to include more stuff. So she had mentioned that she added in some more stuff about ants and bees in one of the units. But the one that she broadened the most was her O unit for oceans. She added a new core book because of that which is Oceans, DK Oceans. I'll show you kind of what those books look like. That's the one core book that I don't have. I just haven't bought it yet since she added it, but I am going to because I'm really excited about it. But she's broadened the O unit. So now it was a two week unit. It's a three week unit now. So actually the curriculum has gone from a 33 week curriculum to a 34 week curriculum now. So it's a little bit longer, but she's gone way more in depth into ocean creatures. And so that's super exciting. She had touched a little bit on some of the invertebrates in the ocean, but she went even further into detail on everything now. So that's awesome. She also lengthened the movement studies. So she decided she was going to go more into depth on all of the movements and really tie in the learnings from that unit's or that week's learning into the movements a little bit more. So all of the movements got a little update too and went more into depth on the movements that they should be doing, which again, if you saw my last video, you know how like over the moon excited I am about the movements and doing that with Bobby. So I'm really excited about where she went with that also. Um, and the last thing that she did that I'm very excited about, just the organizer in me really loves this. She divided up the book list into units. So it's easier to see on the book list when you're gonna be using which books so that you can schedule them to be picked up at the library and make sure that you have everything that you need. So that's already done for you now. So those are the changes that she made. It's a lot. She sent me 
just the discussion points just so for like this video so I could kind of look over it a little bit and it's a lot it's 12 pages worth of add-ins <laughs> for the units so she's like gone even more into depth and i was sorry my dog <laughs> i was already excited about it so so yeah those are all of the updates let's get into the core books so i'm going to show you briefly what all of her core curriculum books are so you kind of know where that's going okay so the first two core books if you are a Instagram junkie with homeschooling and love looking at all the pretty layouts on Instagram. You've probably seen these books before, but it gave me a good excuse to finally buy them because I hadn't yet. Ocean Anatomy and Nature Anatomy by Julia Rothman. I'm going to show you a couple clips of what they look like on the inside. They are beautifully illustrated. I am so excited to have these in our library now. I can't wait to dive into them. Okay, the next two books are both by DK Smithsonian. The core book that she added, Oceans, is from the same DK Smithsonian, so it looks a lot like these. These are them. This is Animal, and then she also has Space on the book list. I'll show you a little bit of what those look like inside. Again, the new core book that she added is oceans by the same publisher so it's gonna look a lot like this a lot layout's gonna be very similar lots of information in these i'm super excited about them as i am with all of her books so there's that okay another one by dk smithsonian is trees leaves flowers and seeds <laughs> i mean come on i'm so excited this one, I am think I'm mostly excited for myself on. There's so much good information and I can't wait to take this to the park with Bobby and just figure out what everything is. I think it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Another one that's just freaking adorable is The Book of Brilliant Bugs. I say adorable, but these are so full of like so much good information too. It's not just that they're adorable. There's just like so much. Look at how beautiful these are. I'm in love. I'm in love. So pretty. The biggest book on the list um, is Underwater, Under Earth. So it's like a flip around book. So on the first or last. It's hard to say which one's first. I think it's underwater. Half of the book is this direction. So you can see they're huge layouts of information. But then you flip it over and you have under earth the other way. So much info. Again, adorable illustrations. I'm so Super excited about this one too. I feel like I've said that about every book and you're probably gonna hear it about every book because I'm so excited guys. I was a little aggressive sorry. Okay and then another book that I'm super excited about for myself. Um, I mean Bobby can use it too I guess but I'm really excited about it for me is my book of rocks and minerals. We are a rock collecting family. Bobby has a whole freaking basket of treasures that she finds on walks, but um, I would be lying if I said that me and her dad didn't collect a lot of treasures on walks and every freaking place we go as well. Again, this book is awesome. I can't wait to take it on every trip we go on. A, another Instagram famous book that I'm excited that I finally own is Natural World. <laughs> this one is so pretty. Everything in it, and I just hit myself in the face, that's fine. Everything in it is just so pretty. I love the graphic look of this. It makes my designer mind so happy. Anyways, it's so pretty. Look at these feathers. Look at those. Ugh, so pretty. I should show Bobby that page. She would love it. 
and the jacket it, i just saw the jacket unfolds into a huge poster guys there's a freaking poster that comes with it all right i'll stop raving about it let's move on um another one by dk smithsonian super earth encyclopedia more awesome photos the photos in all of the dk ones are like so beautiful. These make my photography heart happy. So pretty. All right, then the geography from A to Z. This one's cool. It's a glossary, a picture glossary. So it is, shows you different geographical like land formations or water formations and talks you through the meanings and it's A through Z, obviously, so it's alphabetical. That one's pretty cool, too. Then another gorgeous one for the bookshelf is National Parks of the USA. I've already decided, Chris doesn't know, but we're going to take a whole vacation based on hitting every single thing in this book. We're just going to start checking them off one by one. More beautiful illustrations. This book is really cool because it goes through the national parks, but it also talks about the things you'll find in each national park. So that's amazing. And we do like to travel. So I, I do see us bringing, like this would be a great one to bring along and educate on the road. That's the beauty of homeschool is it doesn't have to be conventional and we can do it from wherever we want. And so if we want to get an RV and like take a month or two on the road and just learn as we go, we freaking can. How awesome is that? So I'm really excited about this one because this will be another one that we travel with for sure. And the last book that I have, I don't have Oceans. That's another one that's on the list. Um, but the last book that I have is the Insect Field Guide by, it's a golden guide. So it's, it really is just a field guide of different bugs and butterflies, fireflies, beetles. Bobby is a bug lover, so that one will be fun to keep in our back pocket because it's so tiny. We probably could keep it in our back, not hers, but mine. All right, well, that's all of the books and all the updates. So I'm really excited for next year. I can't wait to actually get into this curriculum and start doing it. I loved Torchlight curriculum and I am, I could not be any more excited about next year's curriculum. But I have a lot of planning to do still because I am doing kind of a little bit of a mixed match curriculum this year with Idlewild and Wild Math and implementing some of Torchlight again still. There's a lot to do before we start back up in September. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Also, if you would like me to go more in depth about something specific, let me know. Yeah, I'll keep them coming as best I can. <laughs> I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video and that it was helpful and I will see you in the next one.